What's up guys, I'm Grim Ninja, and we're here with another video of Mafia 3. I got nothing here. Right now we're in the middle of infiltrating Four Fingered Charlie Kincaid. If you remember in the last uh, video, we didn't have so much luck. Oh, come on. Is, did, did that just happen? It did happen. It definitely happened. There we go. Who's shooting? Get in my way and you die first. There we go. Got the headshot. Is that it? Who said that? There's a guy over there. Go over there. Here we go. Ow. Okay, he's done. Alright, they're coming. Oh. Okay. We get them before they hit me. I don't know how we're surviving. I really messed up again this time. But so far, so good. One more. Die. Okay. There's another one out there. There's another one coming. Get in my way and you die first. Okay, here he comes. Got him. All kind of money. Okay, that wasn't too bad. There's another one out there. I got him too. There we go. Now, if you remember... In the last video, they said that he had a kid, or his wife was pregnant. So I'm not gonna kill him. And you might live long enough to raise your family. Okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good, Charlie. Real good. Should really find a good, honest job, but you know, at least you're alive. Plus 30,000 income increase. 
It's up to 64,000. Jean Baptiste will tune your weapon sights, increasing your accuracy. Expenses for your next call to Cassandra's associates will be covered. Improved accuracy. Uh, well, I guess that's the only person I can give it to, so there you go. Cassandra, bring your boys down here. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. There was a lot of guys when he called for reinforcements. <laughs> I mean, he must have had like eight guys show up. Please state your name for the record. Donovan, John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon, then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. Okay. The smack racket has been secured. Go ahead and get some health. We're cleaning this place up right, thanks to you. You're welcome. <laughs> so some weird looking folks checking into the royal yesterday. Think they were Jews. Hmm, going back through the graveyard. Where's the gate? Oh, there's the gate. Alright, I don't think anybody wants this car. I'll go ahead and take it. Ooh. Break the glass. Why? Have you seen this car? Okay. Talk to Cassandra. Okay. Go ahead and grab this electronic device. Gotta lockpick the door. Okay, here it is. I have nine of those now. Hit the swings. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm where I need to be anyway. How about that? How do I get in? I guess I just come through the door right here. Yeah.
This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which you do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she scrammed me, is all. You with Dixie Mafia? No. Yes. I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's. He's out of the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mom, I'm a pop up. Go on, get. <laughs> Pick a one, do set. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. You've taken over the smack and prostitution rackets, drawing Richie Doucette and the Dixie Mafia out of their hole. This is how you'll go after Marcano, by uncovering and seizing control of his criminal rackets, then confronting his lieutenants and capos. After taking down his rackets, you'll be able to go after Marcano, to go get control of the hub. Okay, there's gonna be hell to pay. I gave you the prostitution racket and the smack racket, okay? You need to be a little more grateful. Jeez. Okay. Uh, how do I get upstairs? Right here. Okay. So a little about a kickback. I want my money. We had this kind of money because of all the work you've done. Take it. You deserve it. Three hundred sixty bucks. I'll take it. I'm counting on you to stick with me when you hand out the next district. I'm counting on you, and the Hollis counting on both of us. I'll see what I can do. No promises, though. Hey, okay, here's my car. Okay. I hope this is an amusement park that I think it is. Whoa, what happened here? Wow. Baron Saturdays. Yes, it is. How do I get in? Over here. Oh, there's a ladder over here. Okay. Do I gotta press? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why to climb ladders? Whoa. Whoa. What's going on? I got a bad sense about this man. Richie needs to work his shit out with Georgie. Well, he ain't got no fucking choice. See, Shadow. Where's the Shadow? Like your mama oh. on prom night. For sure, man. For sure. Better get back to it before Bobby starts hollering again. Um. Can y'all go your separate ways? I can't get by without... I don't want to attract them both. Hmm. Uh... What do I do here? Uh... I could toss a screaming Zemi. Toss it to. Oh, oh wow. Down that sound. 
That's the worst place to throw it. <laughs> Whoops. Sounds coming from one. Forgive me if I don't get busted up over it. Uh oh. That's okay, the sound of hell right there, boy. Uh, Stay clear of it. Oh, oh man. Huh? Oh, maybe I was supposed to do Welcome that because they to gave Baron's me. Saturday's fun park. We're okay. sure happy to have you with us today. So put your troubles aside and enjoy Why am I yourself. Moving? You never know what that dirty Baron's got waiting for you. Okay. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> doing this oh that's not what I wanted to do at all okay There we go. Oh. There we go. So bad. Bad at aiming. Follow me, you fucked up. Got one over here. There we go. Get my ass out of this shit. Ow. Who's shooting now? Ah, I go to shoot every time they shoot me. Uh, doesn't really work out too well. There we go. I'll take this shotgun now. There's a weapon is locked over here. That's just creepy. Fifteen of fifteen. 
They don't have to be so creepy about Welcome it. Welcome to the pool, Rattler. He must rest in peace going on here. <laughs> okay, dude, we get it. I'm gonna grab this medicine cabinet. Enjoy the ride, y'all. Fuck me. I didn't mean to get mixed up in all this shit. Be late for second guessing now, asshole. So you get your yellow ass out there. Run that motherfucker out of here. All I gotta do is die, then we can work something out. Yeah, no thank you. I don't think I like that plan. Any more? I don't think so. Hey, bumper cars. That's cool. What do we Oh, ouch. Coming for me. There we go. Okay. I gotta go to him. Done, just started firing. There. 
thing, yeah? Man, this guy is, is quite far. Expecting it, it kind of scared me. <laughs> Yeah, needs to turn around. You can't get him if he doesn't turn around. Dude, turn around. How'd you know I was here? I don't know how I survived that. I really don't know. That was amazing. Okay. Wow. That was amazing that I survived.
Got him. Okay, got him. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with that. I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, God damn it! None of that was my idea. You hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Oh. What was I supposed to do? Say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, please. Please. Listen, listen. Just decent thing would be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. The mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him. And Richie Doucette is no more. Wow, Lincoln's a pretty messed up guy. Just, oh. Okay, so next we go to Cassandra. Activate that. And we will go talk to Cassandra in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to comment and subscribe to my channel.